How you doing? How are we? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be working on this thing. Throwing some cheap parts on it. We'll get to that in a minute. So at this point, you're probably wondering exactly what's going on. You've seen the thumbnail already. So let's show you what I've got planned. A whole bunch of cheap parts for the cheap Aussie car. Well, we all know it's not Aussie. They're not made in Australia, but still cheapest car in Australia deserves some cheap aftermarket parts so what I've got here front grill we've got front bar splitter diffuser we've got two different types of front canards I'm gonna sit up here just to see which ones fit if they don't pick something else side skirts got some rear skirts got some roof fins to go up across the top at the back we've got new handbrake uh, new handbrake by Brembo Oof, cheap a shifter a couple of little fog lights for the front and <clears throat> Splitter holders, whichever you want to call them. The ones that go from here to the splitter diffuser. Some cheap parts for the cheap car might annoy some people, but hey, that's what we're doing. Now I've got something special for the back as well, which I'll show you down the track. There's a couple of things I need to touch up while I'm going along with this one being the roof as you can see it's pretty shocking i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do but yeah fix it up somehow and the boat as you can see it's very very shocking yeah in the near future as you can see all the paint fade I'm going to try and do something with the, all the faded paint. I always just said touch up the roof. And yeah, see if we can't get this thing looking a bit better. I'm going to try and take out all these dents and see what we can't sort out with them. There's a whole heap of dents on the bonnet i'm not sure if it's hail damage or whatever but um yeah the kids from the last owner kind of used it as a jumping castle and decided there shouldn't be one panel without a dint in it so it's exactly what they did but anyway let me see if we can't try and get some of them dints out of there make this thing look a bit better and yeah let's start making it look and feel like mine apart from all the little bits and pieces that I've just shown you oh the radiator mount red or black I don't know which one I'll go with it probably the red one but yeah anyway like I was about to say Apart from all this little cheap shit for the cheap car, it is going to be getting somewhat of a decent cheapish overhaul. We'll call it budget budget overhaul and 
looking out for an engine for one of these things so if you know anyone that has a cheap K20, K24 ideally let me know or if you know anyone that's got a B16 or a B18 let me know because I'm chasing an engine but anyway as far as the rest of the upgrades go down the track I've got some sitting over in the shed just waiting for a few more bits and pieces to arrive and I can start doing overhauls on the rest of the car got surprises and I'll let you know exactly what they are down the track when it comes to that time anyway let's get cracking at it and let's get it done but also while we're on the subject of budget upgrades <clears throat> very budget upgrades I'm not sure exactly if any of it's going to fit properly so find out eh alright we're going to start off with what should be the easier of the modica modification upgrades which will be the radiator mount and the grill and then it's already up in the front we'll go on and see if we can't fit the front bar oh, diffuser splitter Doesn't look too bad. It is a little bit loose, but should do the trick. And I might be able to source out a tighter grommet, but it seems to be holding in there rather decently. Anyway, let's um, move on to the grill. need to get underneath the grill to undo a couple of screws so um yeah bear with me and I'll work out how I'm gonna get up in there and undo those screws I might have to take the front bar off so yeah interesting Front bars off. There's about four 10 mil bolts that hold it on underneath, and then on each side in the wheel arch, there's a screw, and that's it. She's seen I've just taken the screws out of the grill, so now hopefully it should just. Wait, no, oh, I missed. Jeez, there's still another two in there. <clears throat> so there's one there, one there. Oh, thank you. So there's one there, one there, one there, and one there. Just get them quickly. I've got the last couple of screws out. There they all are. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, this should just pop out. There we go. Oh, look at that. Get my wasp nest. So there's that one. Hopefully, the new one goes in. Alright, so I've just come across the first unfortunate disappointment. I was actually rather looking forward to that grill being up in there. But anyway. 
Um, yeah, it turns out it's not the right one. Not for this model. Now, in saying that, I'm not exactly sure what's going on parts wise and whatever for it because some things that I've looked at are different to what's actually on this car there's earlier model stuff on here from the EJ models there's correct period like correct EK stuff on here I'm guessing it's just the front bar and the grill being a GLI. I'm pretty sure that might actually be for a Type R. But either way, that grill, because the bonnet sits over the grill, the bonnet won't fit on that grill either. So might be looking at a different bonnet and different front bar but anyway I'm gonna get this back in there and then jump on to the diffuser it's the next afternoon you would not believe how much of a frig around this stuff is considering it's just a few pieces of plastic but in saying that making sure everything's lined up right and whatnot <clears throat> like is going to look pretty good and have somewhat of a nice aggressive little touch to it so yeah anyway she's all mocked up there got all the bolts mocked up there I've still got to take it all off and put rivnuts nuts through the bar so I can bolt it all up. It did come with its own installation screws, but these little black ones weren't big enough. And well, instead of using these screws, I decided to go get some more dress up bolts, which you'll see in a second. That is the underside. Dress up bolts M6, nice and slim line, so nothing's gonna get caught on them. Hopefully, still got another one or two, I think, to put in through here somewhere on each side. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, mark me center line and then. Yeah, basically just light everything up from there. A few measurements here and there to make sure it was all pretty close to being good. And yeah, I reckon she's coming out all right. Let's keep going. I'm going to take all of that off there now and drill out the holes big enough for the roof nuts. So before we go any further, when I bought this little kit on the side, I got it off, it said there was wriggle room for the angle of the side fender bit. Turns out that there, there is, but there isn't because it's all molded the way it is. Yeah. You see, see the lip running on the bottom edge there. That lip goes all around, so technically there's no sort of insert. So you can have it sitting nice and flush like that. So what I did, obviously, is I went and cut out the lip through this certain section so it'll sit down nice and flush and not be looking something like that sitting across the top of it and 
yeah, anyway, where that bit sits across the top is a lot smoother through here now. There's not so much of a gap, which I'll fill at some point and get some sicker flex before I put this all together properly. Hopefully. And yeah, should look pretty schmicky. I've got some double sided tape too. That I'll possibly use to fill the gaps as well. But anyway, some um, find the size of these roof nuts and get them in there. just gone and done now is I've cut out a bit of this lip from around certain few bits on both sides just so it sits on the bottom of the front bumper a bit more square and flush anyway I'll um, get the rest of this bolted up on there now eh? and see what other modifications need to be done for it to sit on there all right got the passenger side canard mocked up transferred some markings over onto here can't see them very well on the video, but I can see them. So, yeah, hopefully, if I get this top one in place on both sides, the bottom should just technically fall into position. I mean, I'll still have to sort of mark it out and whatnot, but yeah, it should just be easy and go in so anyway still gotta take all the bottom off and sort that out and then yeah hopefully we can bolt it up properly and get a couple other bits and pieces on there while we're at it anyway let's keep going all right we're all mocked up Sides are looking kind of aggressive, but that's okay. The bottom fins are going to be pointing down a little bit, but that's all right. Oh. So once I get it all glued up and whatnot, she should be should be sweet. Now I can, like I just said take it all apart and start gluing certain bits and pieces together and get it all sorted it's a long process now I've been doing this for two and a half days it's crazy All right, so we got it all glued up, bolted up, everything 
is on there that I want and she is looking pretty wild well considering some aggressive canards splitter diffuser whichever you want to call it and some supports which actually blend in quite nicely I thought they'd stand out a bit more being sort of anodized red but turns out they blend in pretty well kind of happy with it so anyway going to now make decision as to whether I'm going to put the LEDs on there that I got for it just because I'll be doing something a bit special again with the front of the car down the track probably in a week or so, a couple of weeks and um, yeah it'll change the look of the front again so yeah I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do about that but We'll get there, and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of hate for doing what I've done to this right now, but whatever expression of self, and I like this sort of stuff. I mean, not cheap, but what can you do? I mean, you can do a lot, but hey, it's a cheap card, might as well throw some cheap bits on it until I get it. To a decent sort of place where it can start getting some decent, good looking, nice stuff for it, and body kits and all that. But yeah, anyway, it's um, keep moving on. I'm gonna have a couple of minutes and I'll have a look and think about what I'm gonna do, like I said, with the lights, and then yeah, keep making a move and probably turn this thing around and start on the sides and the back so yeah oh, moving along but let me tell you if it's just yourself make sure you've got a few days to do it it takes a while to mock everything up and get it all done this has taken me about a week to get to this point so yeah take that as you will and yeah let's keep going there they are mocked up and turned on they are <clears throat> more bluer than i thought they were gonna be for being ice blue but um yeah on camera they are a bit bluer than what they are in person but yeah oh. see what happens there eh? reckon they look pretty good so I've got and had it all marked out I've got it drilled out both sides yeah, instead of using the poxy little screws that come with it that look something like that, but smaller, I'm going to use <coughs> the M6 bolts and bolt it on there. But anyway, bolt hole, bolt hole, wire hole. Now, it's, I'm not exactly sure that these are 100% waterproof so if you look down in there water can access through that little hole where the wire is so for a bit of a safeguard <coughs> I'm gonna stick a bit of that stuff in each end because if I pull this end back a bit you'll see 
is a hole. Same thing for another wire. So stick a bit of that stuff down in the guts of each end and hopefully do the trick. Okay. Right. And bolt these on and then work out where I'm gonna run wires to wire it up. Alright, there they are. All wired in and hooked up. Use the old Deutsch connector down here. Sorry about the light. And um, yeah, I've run it up underneath the headlight. I'll take it off and give you the gears in a second. And yeah, just to show you what I've done in here, that would be the back of the park light jiggy connector and yeah positive negative positive would be the blue wire running down to the light negative negative black black so um yeah did the same on that side but it is a hell of tight in there you'll be able to see you should be able to see there a blue wire with a black one as well yep and I actually had to take this headlight out, otherwise I would have had to have been messing around trying to take the power steering, I'm pretty sure that is, and AC stuff, and yeah, trying to move all sorts of crap that clearly ain't needed to be moved, but anyway, headlight out. To get to the connections in the back there and I did the same there as what I did here I've given you'll see how dirty that is she's nasty I gave the other one on that side a clean up as well as give this connection a clean up as well on that side I did clean that as well so I don't know if it was done, or, yeah, sorry, I don't know if this is factory or if it's been done sometime between factory and now. But if you can see that yellow sort of gooey stuff in there, it's electrical connector protector. Something like that anyway. If that's from factory, that's lasted a long time. Honda, great job. If it's been done after factory, whoever did it, go on you. But anyway... And clean them wires up, put a couple of things back on there, and a bit of conduit to come off there, I'll put that back on there and tidy it up. Now I'm not going to tidy it up properly, I'm going to put that over there with probably one piece of tape at each end, because I may have to get into that down the track. But anyway, we'll um, turn these lights and ignition off so I don't waste power and battery. And um, we'll take this off and I'll show you connections. It's just sitting on the bar. See the connection down here? You should be able to get to it one handed. Find the right way it's plugged in properly. And Took a little bit, but got it. And so, as well, I'm pretty sure if I've got the length right, should be able to sit the bar down. Nope, I haven't got the length right at all. Mm. I'm just sitting back up on here. Undo this one. So, as you can see the bars on the floor, here's my Deutsch connector, and Jesus, first time doing them, a little bit annoying, but I got there, but anyway, there's the other one, you can see, it's run up, kind of, see, it's run up under the headlight, maybe you see this one better, if 
I shine that right there down under here like that. Let me go like this. Yeah. Kind of, kind of see it's under the headlight. But it's definitely run under the under the headlight. You can see there, bang. Anyway, so nevertheless, I can't exactly sit it on the ground with it all attached. But that's all good. I made sure I can get my arms through the top with the bumper sitting on the brace bar like you're seeing. Oh, so anyway. That was a hell of a mission. I'm glad I've taken the time to do what I did. Very intricate. But anyway, it'll be a lot quicker come time when I'm doing other stuff to it, look down the track. Like I said, I'm going to be pulling the front of this off again very shortly and it will be changing up again and make it look even better but for now <clears throat> we'll get this back on and make headway on something else uh, and you can see and give it a clean up come up all right pretty decent better than what it was anyway a little bit of crap left on there but that's all right so yeah, just gonna slide him on there like that. Oop. Better do one thing first and put me a bit of conduit on there. And there it is, quick tidy up with the conduit. So I've just put a couple of zip ties in here. You can't really see them, but they are the proper ones that, you know, clip in to the framework. Now I'm gonna tidy this up a bit. And I drilled through there for it to come up. Didn't quite exactly plan the route. It was just there. Um, what's the word? Convenient. So I drilled a hole between there up through obviously before I did them and yeah I'll tie him up probably put a zip tie there or something and yeah that'll be good enough for it to plug in to there where it's got to go First look at it on the ground. Well, not quite on the ground, obviously, it's still on the bits of wood to get it up and get the jack underneath it a bit better, but there it is. It's looking pretty schmick. I reckon I picked the right things for it. Anyway, quick gaze at the lights. There we go. Um, a bit reflective because the LEDs themselves don't actually have a surrounding bezel so the lights just boom it's going everywhere but yeah, looks pretty schmicky if you ask me uh, mm, I'm take it out turn it around and get to work on the side and the backs. Let's do it.
Right, so I quickly just installed my bonnet spaces. I'm gonna say quickly, it was quite an ordeal as uh, at some point I'll have to swap this bolt out. I don't know if you'll see it, but it's full of crap. Unlike that one, how deep it is. That one's nowhere near as deep. Can't get the little socket on in there properly. Right. Yeah, it sits in that one. You do what do what it needs to do. That one, you can't even get it to sit in there. No, the head's not rounded or anything. But anyway, that's done. <laughs> Bonnet space looks pretty mad. Makes it aggressive votes. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, get back in here. All jacked up. That was actually kind of a bit of a mission. I couldn't get it to lift up. Evenly enough, for some reason that side lifted higher with the jack than that side. I don't know why, but anyway, whatever. So, before I go marking up and setting up whatnot, there's two things I've just noticed off the bat. Now, not that it's a big issue, neither of them are a big issue. I just got to put a screw in here underneath here somewhere because she's rattling and loose. But anyway, the second one, and I find the most funny, <coughs> is that if you have a look down in here, now I'm not sure if he's going to be able to see properly. Nope, hang on. You see that in there? Well, that is actually one of those tune thingies. Make it sound louder or quieter. I've been driving this around for about six, seven months now and didn't even know it had it. But regardless to the fact of knowing that this had it or not, there's no switch that stands out in the cabin of the car. Alright, here's the next block, the rear diffusers, looking pretty good, and sides, looking pretty, pretty cheaply spicy. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll get a move on and get some stuff mopped up and see how we go. Alright. So I've started off by marking where I'm going to drill through. So I've gone 25 mil in from both ends. Just so happens to be 400 from center to center. So I've just gone 200 right in the middle for my third one. So yeah, I'll go along, drill them out now and mock one side up and see if we can't get both sides looking pretty decent. I've got this side somewhat mocked up. It is sitting there. It sort of loosened itself off, but it will be sitting something like that. It's gonna be looking kind of aggressive, which is exactly what I want. So anyway, let's um, drill it out. Mimic it on the other side and get it all installed. Mm, driver's side done. It's damn aggressive. I like it. I like it a lot. And passenger side done. Oof. 
like it. You like it a lot. You're probably wondering why I got the jack there. Well, on both sides I had to jack it up a slight bit because between here and here, I'm not sure whether it was the diffuser or the factory skirt, but something dipped away. So I've just propped it up there a bit with the jack to get the double-sided tape to it here. And then shortly I'll go through the seam and give it a bit of a go up and make it look all, or try and make it look all nice and flush and neat considering I tried on the front bar and it kind of worked against me just a little bit, but yeah, now she's looking good. I think the, um, <laughs> the side's way more aggressive than the front. But that's okay. You can kind of see it. Back here. So there's the rear and the sides done. <clears throat> Looking pretty schminky. Sorry about the lighting. I'm gonna decent look at them. Try to. You're probably wondering why I didn't bring that out a bit further or something and that's because one of the spots for me rib nuts is just so this one here is like right there so anyway again pretty sure it's the third time I'm saying this there's no exact way to install these mark up measure up drill up mimic the same on the other side and make sure you like what what it looks like admittedly i think i may have brought these out just a tad but whatever I can do something to sort them out down the track so i'm pushing down on the inside here at the moment these come out about 70 mil, two and a half inches. Two and three quarter inches. Same as them. Yes, I've still got a couple of clamps on there. Help it stick. It didn't, wasn't quite up there. Anyway. Geez, your job again. But it is what it is. It was better until I tried to clean it up. Uh, yeah, that's probably my best seal job. Here we are. Cleanest. It's all sealed up properly, but that's the cleanest looking one. I didn't want to play around. So anyway, I've got three screws on each side in the side skirt, or side diffuser, four in each of the rears. So I'm going to jack this thing down and um, yeah, keep on keeping on. Future AJU. While I was editing, I realized I couldn't use a piece of the footage. So I'll just go over that quickly while we're now setting up for the next video. And yeah, it was just, <clears throat> I'm sure I did roughly explain it a couple of times during the video, but just quickly over a basic run over the install. This is essentially, three-piece splitter 
comes in five pieces. Three, the middle piece is three. It's held together by screws underneath. And then the side ones are mocked up, uh, yeah, essentially mocked up and installed by eye. Now, when to get the cent when I got the center marking, I roughly went from in here somewhere to in there somewhere and got center here and bomb around ran the center line underneath and I did the same just to double check from underneath got a measurement and yeah she was all sweet anyway after that I mocked up sides by eye a couple of measurements here and there just to make sure it was centered and equal you know all good everywhere and yeah went along marked where I wanted all my rivet nuts and my bolts and everything and went out drilled them all out rivet nutted and then double-sided tape and thicker for a bit extra these supports all I did was find a spot that was gonna support both the front part and the side and hold it together a bit better there is thicker in between here and yeah these aren't exactly adjustable even though they were stated as adjustable on the description from where I bought them but anyway all I did was find a decent spot for them to mount to on the bar itself and then adjusted an extra probably five mil just to be able to lift that up and support it the way they're intended to support the splitters or diffusers. And the lights, all I did was found the middle of here as best as I could and yeah got a couple of measurements from certain points just to make sure they were going to be even on both sides and then yeah drilled them out marked it up drilled it out and installed them and more or less the exact same with the side canards found a decent position it was going to look good mocked it up I started with the passenger side mocked that up transferred markings and measurements from that side to this side as best as I could mocked it all up and yeah so you're probably wondering why I've got a screw through here because obviously these aren't made exactly for the Honda they're a universal fitment just like the front splitter and everything everything I've got here is universal so yeah anyway the way these are mounted the bridge I'm guessing you could call that from the top part to the bottom part was not going to sit flush properly as you could probably see hopefully up in there but anyway I just yeah, drilled through where it was going to sit, obviously marked, marked up where it was going to be best suited. Drilled through this one first. Marked and then drilled through the top from the bottom side to get the right position. And that's just a bit of extra 
support so things aren't likely to fall apart as easy. Anyway. And essentially, the sides and the back, they're all done the same. Mock them up by eye, measure out, mark them up and whatnot. And before you go drilling and everything, just like the front, make sure it all looks good and you're happy with it. Now, in all honesty, I could have had the side ones in a little bit further. Back ones maybe a little bit, but yeah, like I said earlier in the video, you wouldn't have been able to see that sort of detail. Not that it's it'll be subtle from the point of looking at it at a distance, but up close it's an extra little detail that's there. But um, yeah, I think that's a quick a quick run through done that I was going to give you and um yeah I hope you've enjoyed the video we're going to cut this one here move on to the next one I hope you've enjoyed it found it a bit informative hopefully entertaining I am trying to get back into the swing of things after what's happened has happened in my life at this point in time let's get making the next video and I'll catch us on that one peace don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.